there's always uh, stuff you can learn and uh, I think uh, for every young guy coming to the NHL uh, there's uh, a lot of eye-opening experiences up here and uh, against other teams so uh, you just uh, try to go uh, day by day and uh, soak up as, as much as you can and uh, get better. How, how much do you appreciate that Randy keeps putting you back out there when things might not go so well for Vanity and you're not going to the press box? Well, it uh, shows you confidence uh, that they have uh, faith in you that you be a good player and uh, you just try to make the make them uh, feel they made the right decision and uh, give them the, the faith back you, you, you get from them. So uh, it's a, especially for a young guy, it's uh, important that you have the the faith of the coaches and you just try to go out there and make uh, make them feel they, they made the right uh, decision. Uh, I don't think uh, I would say anything to that. It's uh, I don't know. It's uh, not none of my business, and uh, I can't control anything what happens outside of the locker room. So, it's uh, I think I don't have any comments on that. Let me rephrase it in a different way. The fact is, is that if there was any player that would be sent down, you didn't have to clear waivers. It would be you. Do you have you felt any kind of pressure over the last week? I mean, it's a learning process, yes. And you know, in this market being what it is, have you felt any added pressure recently? Well, there's always pressure, especially here in Toronto. You guys make pressure all the time, so <laughs> I think if you don't feel pressure here, uh, you're, uh, I don't know if you, you play with the Maple Leafs. I think uh, there's pressure. Obviously, uh, that wave of thing is always puts pressure on you, but if you think about it, you this all, like I said, it's stuff I can't control, and uh, if they uh, decide to send me down, and uh, I'm the guy who not, doesn't have to clear waivers, it's like I said, it's not my control, and uh, I just try to, to play the best I can and uh, help the team win, and then everything else is uh, out of my hand. What have you said you about yourself as a player though, over the last week or ten days? Probably less than a while. Uh, yeah, not uh, not to think too much about uh, stuff that happens out, out, out on the ice there. Uh, just uh, go shift by shift, uh, step by step, and uh, just don't think about anything that happens out there. Just uh, play your game and... Uh, be focused on the next shift regardless what happened and I uh, don't look back there's it goes quickly out there so uh, you don't have much time to think about that that much stuff so uh, just uh, put it behind you and go out there and uh, make the next shift uh, a better one that said last night 17 and a half minutes you led the team with five block shots three hits as well you had to feel good about your game in terms of a bounce back game in Winnipeg yeah I think uh, it's always uh, the last games there was always tough bounces so uh, we had the first goal against Winnipeg which is just like a ridiculous bounce off, like the, that shot goes wide and mm -hmm. just goes into the, like in the corner and probably rims out of the out of the zone and we clear the zone by that shot. It just hits their 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 forward in the knee and it's like one of those bounces where you just shake your head and be like, well, nothing you can do about that. So I think I just uh, try to be play solid, play my game, uh, simplify it, uh, gain more confidence with every shift and just try to get my confidence back up and uh, just uh, help the team win. And uh, I think. Uh, yeah, it was definitely a better feeling yesterday than uh, the game before.